as we return to normalcy, because of the whole vaccines and on top of that the mask mandates and people letting loose on restrictions and such, there's another thing that's returning that was uh, a big thing back in 2019 and, and before. And that's the mass shootings. Uh, just looking through my Facebook feed here, uh, I'm noticing a trend of mass shooting uh, posts. You know, it happened here, it happened in this city, this state, you know, in this county, and at the mall, at this, at that, you know, so on and so forth. Whereas, of course, during the COVID times, it wasn't a thing because everyone was all, you know, locked up or it was very limited on who, who could go out and so on and so forth. So I've noticed that the more that the society has, you know, returned to somewhat normalcy and uh, loosened their restrictions and opening back up, that likewise the mass shootings have returned back post or pre-COVID times. So it's like it only took a momentary break apparently and now it's going to be even more exacerbated because they're more pent up, they're more drove up in craziness because they've been, you know, locked up for so long. And uh, then, of course, with everybody wanting to get out and about, there's going to be way more people than usual, and that just gives them more targets. Uh, likewise, with more people being out and with so many people being pent up for so long, there's a little bit of that cabin fever going on, and people are 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 going to be one of two things: euphoric to be out and about and having somewhat normalcy or what have you, and uh, being really just overjoyed and just happy to be out and doing something and having somewhat of normalcy back. Or alternatively, they're going to be in a bad mood because they've been in that cabin fever type of environment for so long, and they're going to be easily annoyed. And now you add on top of that mental illness, and you add into the fact that they may or may not have a gun in one way or the other, and you got a pretty bad situation there. So, in fact, I think the more that we return to normal, we're going to see even more than usual uh, gun shootings, mass shootings, whatever you want to call them. Uh, than uh, we were seeing before, whether at school or at a mall or anywhere else in the public, because of that particular factor. You, you know, you get people who are pent up for so long, and, and their short tempers and the mental illness. It's just all sorts of a concoction of things going on there that makes it even worse than it otherwise would have been. You get more people, more likely you know, for conflict as well, you know, you get where, you get a place where it's usually like, I don't know, 30 people back in 2019, right? And now it's going to be like 60, 70, 80 people maybe, because everybody wants to go out, everybody wants to go places and do things now, because, you know, we're turning to the normal thing. And so because of that increase, you know, there's a higher chance for conflict because humans are humans. Not everyone's going to like each other. So the more that you get more humans together, the more likely they're going to have problems with someone else in one way or the other. So I just see this becoming even worse than it was pre-COVID. And that's not a good thing because I'm already seeing, like I said, timeline... The most recent one was multiple people killed in South Southern California. And then, uh, uh, I think it's the same one, but in Orange County. Or something like that. Yeah, the LA Times. So, I see this becoming more and more of a problem. Just This just happened 54 minutes ago as of the creation of this video. Unfortunately, that's, um, and I, I was actually just talking about this, what was it, a couple weeks ago with a friend. I was just like, man, you know 
that this whole mass shooting problem was a thing before and then it you know got cut off by covid because everything well, and went into lockdown what do you think is going to happen when everything starts opening up again everybody you know and then i went to what i was saying before you know more likely for conflict and so on and so forth so unfortunately i would have to say you have to trend on the side of caution now the more that places open up unfortunately i don't like to sound like one of those paranoid conspiracy theory type of people but given the fact that um lives could be at stake i don't really take chances with that so uh i would recommend that you are vigilantly aware you don't have to be hyper aware or anything but be vigilantly aware of your surroundings of people of their behavior of their you know their movements and if you can see any sort of you know weapon and so on and so forth and for the love of god don't be selfish <sighs> try to let people know try to help out and if you're close enough try to stop him. I mean, I know that's not generally the recommended thing to do. Police and all these other people will say, hey, don't, you know, try, don't try to be a hero, but cops aren't always going to be there. And all it takes is a group of people or someone who is close enough by to prevent a shooting. But of course, that is completely on the person. I am in no way saying you absolutely have to or you're a bad person. No, I'm not saying that at all. That's your prerogative and your decision to make, but I won't blame you if you don't want to either, um, even if I encourage that you do. But, you know, again, time and place, choose your battles, and know when to run away. And that's all that I would really say when it comes to that situation. Um, so anyway, that aside though, it's, I just kind of wanted to get that out there too because uh, unfortunately this is becoming a uptick rising trend again of seeing mass shootings and hearing about it and reading about it all over again. So, uh, you know, you take in the you know, conspiracy theories and the QAnon and all this other crap and it's only going to exacerbate it even further. It's going to be a rough, rough time for a long time. I don't know if it's going to get any better, but please be aware. Check your surroundings. Check out your environment. Know your, your, know your exits. Know how many exits and where they are. Observe other human beings. But don't jump to conclusions like dumbasses in Traverse City, Michigan here did, thinking my camera on a tripod was a gun don't do that you know don't call the cops based on a you know that verify very important process in this <laughs> don't just jump on somebody because you think they have it you gotta verify it in one way or the other uh, so i wanted to <laughs> get that one out of the way too just so we don't have any other additional problems or conflicts but Nonetheless, uh, maybe there are other people that have seen this trend too, but to me, this isn't just going to be a trend. This is rather going to be a uh, situation that you see more frequently than ever before. So um, what I'm just saying here is be careful, be safe, pay attention. So until next time.